it's time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? Where we ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. And it's been a while since Mikey and I went yeah. head to head. So are you ready for this, Mikey? I am. You always beat me, so. That's not true. Yes, yeah, true. I'm just guessing. All right. I'm just guessing. All right. Well, today's theme is flower power. And Dr. Lori, I feel like that's perfect for this, this weather that we're having here. Yeah, I will tell you, I'm on the other side of the state, as you all know, and Bucks County is pouring here, and Aww. all they're talking about is more pouring rain. So Aww. I think, you know, Ron gets a nod because at least it's not pouring. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying pouring and not boring, right? Because I don't know, the other side of the boring state is boring. Is it's pouring pee. rain. Okay. Rain. okay. Pouring and boring. <laughs> pouring rain. Well, hopefully it'll get better. Um, and then we get spring after we have to lose that hour. I know. Yeah. It's here. It's almost here. All right, so we have this wonderful theme today, and we have a pair of vases sent in by Debbie. I guess our first question, a giveaway, vase or vase? Vase. Okay. Vase. <laughs> she says yeah. so, Vase. so plainly. It has to be, has to be, our rule at the Yale Art Gallery when I worked there used to be, if it's worth more than $100,000, it's a vase. Oh, right. that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So that it's still just a vase. Yeah. Yep. Now, are these hand-painted? These are hand-painted. They're made in Japan. They also have hand gilt work. That's gold leaf on those ring handles. They have a serpentine pinched neck. That means the neck comes in and then flares back out at the top. Really beautiful. They date to about 1900. They're seven inches tall. Now, I know we've oh, talked about this before and, you know, things being brought back from overseas. This is something like mass produced, but hand painted. What can you tell us about that? Oh, mass produced, but hand painted. They would hire actually studio artists and they would just work in the ceramic factory and all they did was hand paint. Oh, They're really beautiful. Wow. Yes, it's a gold leaf, but they were mass produced, hand painted. This is a confusing one. Okay, I, I think I have. Okay, okay, I have a number two. Yeah. For the pair, for the pair. Oh, for the pair. Oh, that changes things. Okay, here we oh, go. I said $300. I said $800. $250 oh, is what it's there worth. We go. Oh, I don't want to be so good at this game. <laughs> are really good. <laughs> Dr. Right. Lori's just taught me so much. <laughs> Up next, we have a vase sent in by uh, Donna. Ooh. Yeah, another another flower vase. This is a Royal Ducks vase. It's made in Czechoslovakia. It's hand painted. It's ceramic. Um, it's the mark on the bottom of it indicates the age of the vase. They, the company used the mark between 1918 and 1938. So that's the time period for the vase as well. It's nine inches tall. Oh, why is it called a duck vase? It's called Royal Ducks, D-U-X, because oh, that was the name of the company. Got it. It's it is called Royal because they got a royal uh, commission. Basically, the monarch said, you're such a good manufacturing company that I, we want you to make all of the ceramics for roy the royal house. This is, mm. I mean, that's really interesting and unique. I really like yeah. this one. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, this is, oh. It's just not good on my vases here. Okay, what'd you say? <laughs> 500. I said 125. $120 is oh, what it's worth. Oh my goodness. Heather. Heather. Whoa. I'm really overshooting here. You're right on the mark. Okay, uh, last up, we have a vase with uh, a cover. I don't know what that means. Oh, like the lid? Um, sent in yeah, by Lee. It's sometimes referred to as a ginger jar. This is a Chinese vase. Uh, it's a vessel with a cover. Most people would call it a jar or a lidded vessel. Um, it's hand painted. It does have some gilt work, which is that gold leaf once again. It's 12 inches tall. It dates to the 1890s. Wow. Now, in something yep. like this, and it, it's in pristine condition, it looks like by the picture, uh, does age so. add to the value of this? Age is not a value indicator. Just because it's old doesn't mean it's valuable. This is might be valuable because of its quality. Okay. Okay, that's a good that's a good clue. You said this and is a ginger easier. vase from the 1890s. Mm. 1890s. <laughs> I think I've been overshooting this entire game, so I'm going to come down a little bit, uh, and See, maybe now, that'll I'm help. See, teacher, I would tell you, go with your gut. My I gut has not been way, working out well. <laughs> I went with my gut, and I also said $200. $200. Mikey. Well, you're both wrong. It's worth $500. See, oh, <laughs> that's what I just scratched. Oh, See, Dr. Lori said oh, go with right. your gut. Always. I told you. <laughs> Dr. Lori, we learned so much. So why was that one so expensive for just a single vase? 
Not because of age, but because, first of all, that particular form is rather rare. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also, of course, uh, the quality of the workmanship. So it's always about quality. It's always about how good is it. You know? Always about quality. Remember that. Good Your job, quality. Hannah. Thanks. Your quality, Dr. Lori. Everyone's quality. All right. We're so all good. Quality. All <laughs> three of us. Good to see you as always. Oh boy. And Thanks to everyone at home for sending us your pictures. You can send yours in to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at kdka.com, and maybe yours will be chosen with, for a future episode with Dr. Lori. I'm so distracted by these beautiful flowers. Yeah, pretty. All right.